elementary teachers, let's grow food gardens with your class in 2024. These days we're talking about planning because this is the time to start planning. We talked about the who and the what aspects of the planning in the previous two videos. Go find those or better yet, go find your spot on the School Gardens with Ease 2024 free webinar. In that webinar, I give you everything, all the aspects of planning, plus much, much more. Go grab your spot. Today, I want to talk about when the timing. Growing a school garden or a classroom garden starts before spring, like at least a month before spring. It goes all the way to the end of school year. Now, depending on when your school year ends, some of you at the end of May and some of you at the end of June, you want to leave at least two weeks at the end of your school year so that you can wrap up your program. So that would be mid-February all the way to mid June or mid-May, depending on when your school is finished. So the way it works is middle of February, you start planting indoors. And then when those plants that you started in the middle of February get there, meaning they're either ready to harvest or ready to be given away, sold, donated, or transplanted in your, into your outdoor garden, if you do have an outdoor garden, then you do those things while you plant other things. Now, if you have a, only a classroom garden, which I totally recommend if you're new to this, that would actually be a phase, the phase one of my two-phase plan, which I explained to you thoroughly in the School Gardens with East 2024 webinar. That means at the end of the school year, your project is finished. There's nothing to worry about during summer. But if you do have a school garden, then there are other things that you need to do to make sure in terms of timing, that your garden project continues throughout summer and into fall. So when your plants get there, instead of giving them away, donating them, selling them, when you only have a classroom garden, when you have a school garden, you plant those, you transplant them into the garden. And at the end, almost at the end of the school year, you have to make sure that your summer maintenance is arranged for, which if your garden is designed well, only requires watering, but you do have to, you know, send out a sign up sheet or some something like that for the parents to volunteer. You put together the schedule and then you leave for your summer. But again, I don't want you to worry about a school garden right at the beginning. You need to be planning for a classroom garden first and your school garden would be the phase two, which I highly recommend you do it in the second year of a school garden project. I explained why uh, with all the details in my free 60 minute webinar called School Gardens with Ease 2024. Go grab your spot. Now, another aspect of timing has to do with which one of the seeds need to be started indoors or sowed directly outside if you have an outdoor garden, when? And I explained all of that too on that webinar. 